but right now, screw fighting him. Uh, do we have a campfire? I think I'm full on in all my ammo, too. Yes, I do. I have a campfire right here. And I have a skill point? Yes. Alright, no, but so, like, what had happened was, at the time, you know, I was working at a movie gallery and doing an internship. And living in in a different city from the one that I went to college to, and it just wound up sucking butt because I was dating this girl at the time that was a, just not a good choice. And, um, oh, here we go, rifle expert, shotgun expert, which is what I want there. Yes, sir. Um, and so, I don't know, just real bleak uh, kind of set up there. And it, like, stuff went, um, so went south with the girl. And so, wait, wrap sock. Further steadies the weapon when firing. Shell mag. Yeah, let's. Anything to make it more accurate, I feel. Um. Here we go. And so it just. wound up being, um. This Chinese earthenware is thousands well, of years old. Could they have visited oh, Sam, sorry, I got lost. the rise of uh, Mutai? I broke up with that girl and then wound up, we were sharing an apartment and I had to move out. So I was like, oh shit, you know. Because at this point you're just like, fuck, am I going to wind up homeless or, or what's going to happen? Which is the worst. And so I was placing phone calls to kind of see, you know, how I could get someone to share the apartment with me. Because I was like, not going to give it up at first. I was going to keep it. Which was like another source of like, I guess, conflict between me and this girl. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this apartment, and then the friend I called offered me a, a room at their place, which is this big house. And in a date, that's like one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because it totally put me on a different path than, I mean, just like it led me to like where I am today. Um, and it's so weird how thinking like at that point in time I was just like, you know, trying to recover from. I, from feeling like my life was totally in the crapper. Because, I mean, it, like, this is all going on, like, as I'm graduating college, and, like, kind of in a weird position with, like, people that I had been friends with all throughout, uh, all throughout college. And so it just, um, you know, that's, like, the most lost I've ever felt. There we go, let's... Oh god, didn't really think about that. Here we go. Just see what this does. And so... Okay. Uh, let me go around the other side here. And so, um... But I wound up, you know, saying yes and, and moving into that place. And I can still remember, like, the last couple nights. And so I had, um... I bet I'm gonna get the same thing here, but why not? Oh... Uh, Okay. There we go. That is a gruesome pit there. Um, but I, I mean, I was going to, like, transfer that job over to the new city I was going to be moving into. And uh, at that point in time, Movie Gallery was, like, going out of business. So they were just, like, super duper just anal about making sure that, uh, you know you were selling as much as you could and blah 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 and I mean that kind of crap it's real you know it's hard to you know I have no personal stake in it so it was just like really hard to get motivated by any of that you know I just wanted to do essentially my job like you know, taking care of stock and and uh and renting movies and, there somehow. yeah I need to get up there somehow is right um, shit, how am I going to get up there? Hmm. Okay, first thing, let's go up here. Nope, bad jump. You know, and so, I, I, yeah, I ended up moving to that new city and got everything kind of moved into the house and, like, went in to kind of introduce myself to my new manager and, like, find out, and he was a total dong, just, like, a real like classic dickhead 
and uh, you know, or just, just a douche. <laughs> I was gonna apologize for saying that to any younger audiences, but that's that's what this bro was. He knew what he was, and um, damn it, how do I get across over here? Give me a second to think about this, and I'll maybe I can pull that over and jump on top. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. What to fudge? Don't want to drop down there either. Jesus. Nobody wants to fall into that pit. <laughs> no, so yeah, the dude was a total douche guy. And so I was like, oh shit, you know, nobody wants. To... Yeah, I just. Seen similar artifacts on the definitely Bandai didn't want to work in that. How did this get all the way to Yamatai? Uh, that store. So, you know, um, I got offered that job at Moe's. Like, a dude that was living with us. Um, I'd say a buddy, but he really wasn't a buddy because he was not the best pro either. He really didn't get along with anyone in the house, so I was kind of surprised that he was, uh, living there, to tell you the truth. But, um, you know, he, like, he knew some of those guys, but he was working at Moe's, and that place had just opened. And Moe's, if you don't have one, is a burrito joint. You just, uh... Rolling burritos. They make really gigantic burritos. It's a lot like Chipotle, but not as good. And, uh. And so. Oh, that's too high. Maybe I can lower it. So I did not see a place for me to. Okay, let's drop down. Awesome. And let's lower it and see if I can do the rope thing from there. Um. Maybe. Yeah, here we go. Come here. I'm not seeing how to do. I can... You gotta be able to get up there. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, okay, so you're not swinging it. You're just climbing up it. Wait, no? Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> Sorry, this is probably simpler than I'm making it. It just... There's gotta be another... rope thing. What the fuck? Oh, we're gonna go in that door real quick. Hold on. Ooh, look at that balance. I know, so I went in there, and, and you know, like, I... Oh, wait, this is where I came from. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Journal. We never, never had a chance. They were waiting for us. Hundreds of them. We never even made it to the sacred chamber. From the beginning, we were doomed. And now, I wait for my ancestors to take me. I can hear them. The only are killing my brothers, eating them, consuming their souls. So much death. I, I'm the last one. What is my fate? Will I become one of them? Ancestors, hear me, please. Take me away from this, before the only come for me. Please, take me to the afterlife. Let me die in peace. Yeah, you don't want the only to kill you, that's for fucking sure. You know what our problem is, is we need... Okay, so... We've officially worked it out both ways. What I need to do is get on this side. I need to go up. That's what the problem is. No, this way. Okay, so, you know, so I started doing that, and it, I mean, it's not, like, my favorite thing. Like, it was kind of depressing, because I just, I mean, I just graduated college, and I'm working at this burrito place, and I'm, you know, it's, like, so, it's, it was still just, like, grim times, but it was good being with friends, and you're know, making some money, but you're still, like, nervous about how you're going to pay rent, which is the worst feeling I ever. Make this jump. Oh, yes. What? the hell, Tom? 
Okay. Well, at least we got it. But I just gotta make the jump now. Um. Ah, son of a bitch. You're watching some failing here. But this is what happened. Um. You know. But then, okay, so then I, I, I made really good friends with this dude named Philip Gilbert. And this dude is still to date just one of the best dudes I ever have ever met. And, uh, and he came in all the time to visit me. And, uh, and so he was living kind of at a house near ours, but he wound up moving in. The Sun Queens. The fire ritual where the queen chooses her successor. A chosen priestess enters the monastery. And she's given your power and becomes the new queen. Wait a minute. Many have given up their souls willingly for this gift. Now the first and last queen lives a half-life. A soul in a decaying body. Vessels. It's not transferring power. It's transferring a soul. All these queens, they're all... You, Himiko. First and last. Oh god. And now you want Sam. Well, you're not getting her. Send your ass to the afterlife. A vessel for the Queen's soul. I've got to stop this madness. Can I? Yeah. Fuck that door. That's where I came from. I keep doing that. I'm bad at navigating. You can all make fun of that. Um, but no, so, he, you know, he would kind of visit a lot, and our manager totally, like, had the hots for him. Philip and I were playing in, uh, a band together called Silverton, and he, uh, he was, like, the primary songwriter, and so we were playing a show, and they, they had all come out, you know, and, uh, and our manager had come out, too, which was, like, semi awkward but whatever. And uh and so Philip, you know, was like just goofing off with her. She was like really into him and he, of course he was just like, you know, like I think it's one of those situations where he had like fun flirting with her but didn't really want to go through with anything with her. And she you know, didn't respond positively to that. And so Oh, unable to fast travel after this camp. That's okay because I haven't fast traveled at all. Um, we might as well put it on whatever we can, I feel. Not enough salvage, though. I don't feel like there's going to be anything we can spin it on. Yeah, there's not. Unless we can... What we got here? Treasure! Vase. Probably early Edo period. But I of course okay, so it goes south, you know, and it just eventually all leads to like we go back to work the next day and she is just his status, you know. Um, and at this point, like my buddy Jonathan's working there and like we're working together, and so like we're it's just awkward because she's just in a bad mood. You know, and when people get pissed, you just kinda or uh, generalizing other their way up there, shit. You know, I just tend to like, be like, you know, like, damn, they're really mad, and then kind of just ignore it and like stay out of the way because it is awkward as hell. No, no, please. Why are you doing this, Matthias? Do you think that you're the hero, La? Everything I've done, I did to survive. How many lives have you taken to do the same? There are no heroes here. Only survivors. Himiko's dangerous, Matthias. She's angry, she's vengeful, and she has real power. A mere mortal for a queen? A good trade for our freedom, I'd say.
damn, this b-hole wants to draw it out. But, it, you know, it's awkward, and so I just, I had, um, you know, was going to deal with it, and I, re I still remember, like, you know, so I run our lunch break, which, like, is the best time at work, because you just finally get to sit and fucking chill out. Um, you know, it, I mean, we were, like, hiding while we're eating lunch. And this job had some, like, definitely, like, pain in the ass moments. So there's other, they, like, kind of assistant manager dude named, I think Calvin was his name. And there were moments where, like, he'd be a cool dude, and then moments where you were just, like, I, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's real weird, because sometimes it sucks when you work for people that are just, you know, you're more competent than, or that are lazier than you, and so you just wind up like, fuck this, you know, and so I still remember, like, I was taking a smoke break back in the days when I smoked, and, uh, he was, like, one customer had walked in, and he was, like, just so fucking lazy that he was gonna make me come in and do it, and I, at that point, it was just like, I can't believe that you're being that lazy, so I, I wound up being like, yeah, well, you know, like, go take care of it, bro, kind of thing, which normally I'm not like, but I just kind of get that way whenever I'm put in a situation where I'm like, this is just straight up, you know, wrong. Go take care of your shit. Um, but, I think I'm gonna here. Oh, Ooh, I bet I can pull it from way over here and it'll, here, let's, yes, sir. Um, Come on now, what can I do here? What can I do? Wait, can I? Damn, no. Okay. It's gotta be something with that. No, it's arrows. Pull it. Think, Tom, think, 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 think. I'm gonna give this another shot real quick. Give me a second. My brain. Oh, we're so close. I'll try pulling it from over here. Oh, come on. No, it's like right there. What? Oh, I totally trying to use the wind. Come on. Maybe I need to be further back, like right up in it. There we go. be like right here. What am I not doing right? On this side? Oh, it's just like not catching. What the fuck? or donk. Um, but, you know, so we were hiding out during lunch, and it, it eventually just gets to the point where, like, I think Jonathan was like, oh, I've had enough of this crap, and so, um, yeah, I wound up thinking the same thing, of like, well, if he's, you know, if he's kind of had enough, I feel I'm, I'm right there, too. And so at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna give him my two weeks, and, you know, she decided to just be... Super shitty about it, and so I was like, well, you know, fuck this, this is gonna be, like, my last week. Which really, at that point, it should just, I should have been like, this is gonna be my last day. But whatever, you know, you're trying to semi-do the right thing. Watch out! Those bastards are heading your way! We did oh everything God. we could to slow them down! Thanks, Rose. Get to the boat. If I'm not back... We're not leaving without you. We'll be waiting. Well, shit. All right, jumping time. You know, uh, you tried to do the right thing because you know, put in that two weeks, and I, or I tried. You know, I, I'm the one in the story, but oh god, barely made that. <laughs> you know, I, I totally, I did. I, I tried, and it just, I don't know, like it just like got to the point where I was like, I'm just gonna have to nod and smile. And what's fucked up is, oh my god.
This pen cannot fucking die. Um, take two. Didn't grab onto some whatever the hell thing up there. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yes, sir. No, but, you know, I, I just... Okay, so, like, I quit on, like... Yeah, my last day was, like, on a Friday, and I was like... Oh, fucking bitch. I think we've hit a part that's gonna piss me off here. Clearly, so let's just fucking get up there and hold on, Lara. Damn. Go, go, go. No. Oh. Why are you jumping crooked? So Lara's being an asshole and. She keeps jumping sideways here. <coughs> Keep having trouble with this wall. This wall right here. Because here I clearly run out of space, and here you're supposed to clearly be able to climb up. Right? Or is it something that I'm missing here? I feel like you're supposed to go this way, so I'm probably gonna die here a fucking again. There. Oh my sweet god. Oh. We never speak of that stupid part ever again. <laughs> <laughs> 